people voted for your plan. What do you mean by that? Sorry. Well, you've set out a significant change of direction mm -hmm. from the Conservative government that you were being part of for many, many years. But how many people voted for you to do that? Well, people in 2019 who voted Conservative voted for a successful country where we are levelling up all parts of the country and where we're driving growth, enterprise and opportunity. Now, any government has to deal with the circumstances it faces. And we face this situation of, you know, which was unforeseen, huge energy costs, rising inflation due to the war in Ukraine and the aftermath but you, of COVID. But you know, but you know very we are well, Prime Minister, that the, the, we are a delivering. small number of people in the Conservative Party, tens of thousands rather than the whole country, voted for you in the leadership contest, perfectly legitimately. But do you fear that you have put the country on a path that it didn't ask for because you believe very strongly that it will lead to growth? Finally, what happens if it doesn't work? Well, what people voted for in 2019, when they voted for con Conservative, sometimes for the first time in many years, is they voted for a different future. They voted for investment into their towns and cities. They voted for higher wages. They voted for economic growth. And that is what our plan will deliver. Are you absolutely committed to abolishing the 45 pence tax rate for the wealthiest people in the country? Yes. And it is part, Laura, it is part of an overall package mm -hmm. of making our tax system simpler and lower. But I think it's worth noting in the package we announced, the vast majority of that package is the energy package. And we've talked a lot about that. But it's I the to, energy I to talk package, about it's national insurance. The 45p rate actually raises very little and makes our tax system you know, more complicated. And we, we need to move away. We need to move away from the idea that everything is about how we re redistribute resources. We also need to make sure we have got a tax system that's competitive internationally and it's helping us bring in the investment, get people into work, and you, and you get that people very wanting again, to get up the career ladder. You've, you've made that very that clear. Can I, can I ask you, Prime Minister, did you discuss scrapping the top rate with your whole cabinet? No. Do no, we didn't. It was a decision that um, the Chancellor made. Do you think that that is the right way to go about developing what has become a very controversial policy? You say it doesn't cost that much money, but it's a big decision, isn't it? If you'd well, been we, in Boris Johnson's we, cabinet and we, he had announced have, something like that without Laura, asking we you, have how would committed, you have felt? We have committed, and I committed during the leadership campaign, to make our system more competitive, to lower our taxes and to simplify our taxes. And I think that's fundamentally important. Now, when budgets are developed, they are developed in a very confidential way. You know, they're very market sensitive. Of course, the cabinet is briefed, but it is never the case uh, on budgets that they are a something that is created by the whole cabinet. The principles, though, are extremely clear. What the government is trying to avoid mm -hmm. is a serious economic slowdown that would have real difficulties for people. Now, but, but I did want to answer your question, Laura, that you asked me about you know, the, 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 the issues we've seen this week. So I'm afraid there is an issue that interest rates are going up around the world. And we do have to face that and we do have to do that. But I do want to say to people, that I understand their worries about what has happened this week and I do I do stand by the package we announced and I stand by the by the fact that we announced it quickly because we had to act but I do accept we should have laid the ground better but there are, I there, do there, accept that you accept you and should I, have laid I, the ground I have learned from that I have learned from that and I will make sure that in future we do a better job of laying the ground what many of your MPs fear is because interest rates are on the way up, because the cost of government borrowing is going up, as we've seen this morning, the fear is that the consequences will be more taxpayers' cash will be eaten up, there'll be less money for everything else. Are you going to cut public spending? I don't accept that argument, and I will do what I can to win the hearts and minds uh, of my colleagues across the Conservative Party, because I believe we need to grow the size of the pie. That's fundamentally what we need to do as a country, and we've had two decades of relatively low growth. But how, how, what, I'm answering your question, Laura. 
What low growth means? Mm. Low growth means people aren't able to get the jobs they deserve. No, no, my they mean lower wages and they mean le spending, less money no, for no, public no, services. They mean but are so you this is why growth is so spending? important but and that is at the core of our economic policy. But are policy. you going to cut public spending? Because one of your cabinet ministers said this week, Simon Clark, he said, we look at a state which is extremely large and we have to look at how we can make sure that is in full alignment with a lower tax economy. Now, what does that mean? Well, I, I believe in getting value for money for the taxpayer. That's very important to me. And the way that we are going to improve our economy is, for example, get, helping more people get into work. That saves the government money, but it also contributes to the economy. So what we will have is a long-term plan for reform, help more people get into work, make our economy more productive, get better value for money for the taxpayer. But Prime Minister, I've asked you if you're going to cut spending on public services. Are you going to cut spending on public services? Well, what I'm going to do is make sure we get value for money for the taxpayer. But I'm very, very committed to making sure we've got excellent frontline public services. And I'm not going to go into what the Chancellor will announce in his medium term fiscal plan. At the end of November. He's going to announce that very shortly. It will come together with an OBR forecast. That's very important. But hang on. But, but my approach mm -hmm. is to help people get through this very difficult winter, and mm -hmm. it's a problem we're facing internationally. But, Karen, so this through is quite a straightforward <laughs> question. Support. Are you going to cut public spending on public services? And I've asked you a couple of times, and, and normally I'm gonna, the fact I'm that you won't answer it directly suggests oh. that you're going to. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, because I can't exactly set out what is going to be in this plan. What I can promise is we're going to reduce debt as a proportion of GDP. By when? But the point in the medium term, What's and we will set out term? exactly what that is when we put out the medium term fiscal plan. But the point about reducing debt as a proportion of GDP is it all depends on how fast the economy is growing. Mm -hmm. And the key thing is to get the economy growing faster so the pie is bigger and we can afford more money for great public services. We had an email from a viewer last night saying we're very grateful for the help we've had with our energy bills, but the effect of the mini budget or mortgages has meant hundreds more each month for us in mortgage payments. Your energy help may help millions of people. It may be generous. Well, it will help millions of people. But this cost people. is being wiped out for other by other costs and increases in mortgages. What is the logic of giving people money to help with their energy bills if they then lose some of it because their mortgage goes through the roof because of the consequence of the decisions you've made? Well, I understand that people are worried and people are struggling. It's a very difficult time. We have to look at the mortgage issue it, what does that mean? separately, which is the Bank of England set interest rates, not the government. You know, this has rightly been independent since 1997. And we are facing a world in which interest rates are rising. In fact, our interest rates set by the Bank of England are lower than those of the Federal Reserve briefly, and lower than those but, other but, but countries. But do you acknowledge that some people are going to end up being worse off because their mortgage has gone up by more than their energy bill is being controlled by the government's freeze? Do you accept that? We want to do all we can to help homeowners. You know, we've, we've helped with stamp duty. That was one of the announcements in the mini budget. But ultimately, interest rates are a matter for the Independent Bank of England. And the Independent Bank of England do have to look at what is happening around the world. But we're asking about mortgages, not interest rates. And mortgages are not set by the Bank of England. Mortgage rates the, are a product of all sorts of factors, including decisions the government But the interest rates are a key the factor. Made. The interest rates are a key factor okay. in mortgage rates. Okay. And those are set by the Bank of England and they're somewhat dependent on the global market. So, Laura, we are not dealing with the issues we're dealing with in isolation. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with these issues in a world where there's a slowing global economy, and where there are rising interest rates, where there is huge inflation, mainly driven by energy caused by Vladimir Putin's war. And I, as Prime Minister and the Chancellor, have to deal with that in the way that we think will help people in Britain most get through these very, very difficult short-term circumstances, but put our country on the best long-term footing.